Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Zord, where today we have got a train to catch. Also, I've done a few more things off camera. I've leveled some more Pokemon, evolved some more Pokemon, and I've got my team looking like this now. So, hooray. So, let's go catch this train, see where it's going to take us. Oh, I like how the station's actually different. Do you sell anything good? Oh. Today's meal's better, but you're not going to sell it to me? Oh. Well, that's good. So, like, how did he actually do it? What team did he use? Did it have six Pokemon on it? I will. Uh, yeah, you are not the favorite to win. You have never been the favorite to win. Got a blue Rotom phone? Why can't I have a blue one? Because then I might have a blue Rotom bike too. Okay, but I'm going to win. I highly doubt it'll be that great. Yeah, probably. Uh, sure. Okay, bye. All right, with this being an icy place, let's not have Flapple in the number, number two slot. Number two. Uh, yeah. I feel like a grass dragon being quad weak to ice probably best to not have it out front. In fact, let's have Colossal out front. Because rock and fire are both good against ice. Oh. Oh. What? I'm sorry, were the Mr. Mimes in... Well, I guess it did say Cantonian Mr. Mime, but... I guess the Mr. Mimes in the, uh... Really? Our first Mr. Mime is female? Yeah, the Mr. Mimes in the dark gym must have been... A, uh... A red herring. Would have been nice if I could have caught this guy right away, but whatever. We'll be fine. Um... I haven't fought a Galarian Mr. Mime yet, but I guess since I've got a Cantonian Mr. Mime in my Pokedex now, because I did the trade, caught a fresh Obstagoon, uh, I guess it tells us what its weaknesses are. So it's got to be Ice-type. I mean, just look at it. So Ice Psychic, maybe? Or is it Ice Fairy? It's Ice Dead. Um, I can tell you that much. Really should have stayed in the quick ball. How about you? Do you want to stay in the quick ball? Because I don't think I have a Glalie yet. I do not. Stay in the quick ball.
Okay, so... Rock slide? Thanks for that. Not like I'm not slow enough already. Whoops. Colossal, you need to stop murdering things. Could have sworn it would have had enough defense. Don't need a cub chew. Don't need one of you either. That's right, I'm super slow, so I can't run from anything. That's the issue with having Colossal out front. Like, if I'm actually battling, Colossal's the way to go on a route full of ice types. But if I'm trying to run from things, not so much. Let's give him a little health. Mr. Mime, please stay in the ball this time. Also, please be male so that your name fits. Dang it. I don't care, just get in the ball. Dang it. Well, it's got Mirror Coat. Thankfully, we don't use special moves with Colossal. Um, I guess High Horsepower is the safest thing to use here. What with it being not super effective. Yeah. Okay. So, it is currently 8 p.m., so hopefully that means the dust ball will work. Like, there, there's no way to tell whether it's actually doing its job, but a man can dream. Stay in the ball. You know? I think I'm just going to try good old-fashioned Ultra Balls. Because those, I know for sure, will be getting their full catch rate here. There we go. Really? No Pokedex entry update for the Galarian one? I gotta go find it myself? Uh, I don't even know what number it is. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, well, it's probably later than this. Mr. Mime, where do you live? Probably pretty late. Considering you can't be encountered until all the way over here, and Mime Jr. is a fairly rare thing. But hey, now you can see a good amount of what I've done for my Pokedex so far. Uh, th there it is. Ice Psychic. Its talent is tap dancing. It can also manipulate temperatures to create a floor of ice, which this Pokemon can kick up to use as a barrier. And now we know. And now my battery's low. Hello. Oops. Uh, back in a moment. Okay, that was my bad. I was 
reaching for a cord to plug my Pro Controller into my Switch and accidentally nudged the HDMI cable and ruined everything. But it's okay now. Everything's fine. All right, with this Gardevoir here, let's swap out for Grimmsnarl. Her Fairy-type moves could be problematic, but I think we'll be fine. Yep, that's a little bit of an ouch. Okay. I also taught Grimmsnarl Shadow Claw because Ghost and Fairy gives amazing type coverage. And ghost Fairy Fighting, I think, covers every type combo in the game, at least neutrally. Yeah. And just to make sure I can time this out more easily to make sure all the sounds line up the way they're supposed to, just real quick, I'm going to do a little bit of timing thing here. Left, left, down, right, right, up, left. Down, right, right, up, left, left, left. There we go. Now I can use that to make sure things are timed properly. Just a little peek behind the curtain. Hi. Yeah. Kind of annoying that there's hail going on. Oh. Steelix is neat. I wish it was displayed at its full scale here, though. So it's clear that while the wild Pokemon are basically all uh, ice types, the trainers have more than just ice types going on here. So we know we're faster than the Steelix, so there's not really much we can do other than sit there and take the attack. And swapping out wouldn't be a huge benefit either, so I guess we'll just sit here and take the attack. I'll use the turn to heal up Colossal. Didn't even hurt that much. And now the Steelix should end up being pretty dead. And as you can see, I also gave Inteleon some more type coverage. Sure is nice how Leftovers does a pretty decent job of counteracting hail. Yeah, we're just keeping Inteleon out. Though I could have swapped to Flapple. I should have. Need to use more than just Inteleon. Then again, Flapple being our one and only grass type is gonna be pretty much our only option for dealing with water types because I don't have any electric moves anywhere I don't think it's true oh I bet you got some cash on you
Kinda wish Colossal had a fighting move. But Heat Crash will be more than fine. Oh, thanks for wasting your turn. To Flapple. And we will grab Apple it. Just watch that apple fall. Where the tree come from? Nobody knows. Um, no. Eh. Okay, I got another Mr. Mime, a Cub Chew, a Comet Shard. Ooh, Bear Tick. Don't got one of these yet, so if it'll be kind enough to stay in a quick ball, then that'll be another thing I don't have to evolve. Good. It swims through frigid seas, searching for prey. From its frozen breath, it forms icy fangs that are harder than steel. You know, I gotta say, I really miss the Pokenav that they had in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that let you see when you had caught everything on a given route. I really missed that. It was a good feature. Why did I hit run again? I'm never gonna outrun the thing. Hopefully this will kill it. Yep. Doesn't matter that his defense rose. Hmm. Probably not too much longer. I mean, there's air travel and cars now. I mean, I guess there aren't cars in Galar, but there are across the channel in Kalos. And the Corviknight taxi service, I mean, just bring the thing into the that. Yeah, you know, like the words that I used. Okay, what do we want to swap to? Yeah, I guess, or no, yes? Yeah, Frost Moth will probably be fine. Get a chance to see it in action, too. It evolved from Snom. Or Snom, or whatever. So... What was Icy Wind again? Ah. Yeah, this is just Aurora Beam. 
I was going to use the Ice Beam uh, TR on this thing. But then I saw that Inteleon could use it, and it would help Inteleon have more type coverage. Whereas it would just help Frozmoth be a little stronger. So I figured Inteleon could make slightly better use of it. Wait. What? Why was it not very effective? Oh, right, because when you use Roost, you lose the flying type for that turn. So until it stops using Roost, we can't actually kill it. And it's not going to stop using Roost. So if we swap to Flapple, then we can grab Apple it while it Roosts and make it sad. Oh, okay, I could have... I could have just Aurora beamed it. Dang it, why'd the hill have to start back up? Eh, we'll still grab Apple it. Knocked all, we're definitely switching out. And hey, Frozmoth, it's your turn again. Got that guy over there. It looks like this takes us further on. So let's sneak around here because I want to be able to talk to this guy on my own terms. Oh, um, no. But it sounds about right. Bunch of giant steel birds all abandon a country together. You gotta imagine something's wrong. How heavy is Corviknight? I don't even know. Like, it's a big steel type, but it's also a bird? So yeah, it can't be too heavy. Okay, yeah, we're definitely swapping for a ground type. To Frozma. Because, hey, it's quad weak to ice. Ooh, and we're faster. And Frozmoth doesn't take hail damage. shame. I would have liked to hear more. Alright, so what do we got over this way? Other than more Pokemon. Including an Obama Snow.
Oh, so it makes them appear larger. It doesn't actually make them bigger. And you're not going to tell me how to accomplish Gigantamaxing? Well, this Obama Snow is just here to become XP. Because I already have one. Quadruple damage. Let's actually heal up Colossal again. And Flapple could also use some heals. Might as well see what this is. Another Bear Tick. Well, it is an evolved Pokemon, so it's probably decent XP. Clearly, there's not a whole lot it can do to me. Decent chunk. Okay. Got some Sneasel, more Cub Chew. Well, that wasn't super worth grabbing. Like, it's not a terrible item, but meh. I walked right up to you from the front, and you... Were you not paying attention? Not gonna lie, I kinda want a Gigalith. If I could find a wild one somewhere, that would be great, because that way I don't have to do any trading to get it. And I only have the one switch, so I can't trade with myself. It's the first Pokemon generation since I started getting multiple versions that I haven't been able to trade with myself. Started getting multiple versions with X and Y, so it hasn't been that long, but still... Yeah, we'll switch for ride on. Because we have got a quad weakness to exploit. Goodbye. Is that so? Is that how that works? Oh, you have got to have some cash on you. That's a Lux Ball.
Can Galarian Darmanitan have Zen mode? If so, I want to see it. Uh, you got it. I was gonna use an attacking move anyway. Oh, come on. You already taunted me. I'm sure literally any other move you had would have been a better choice. Okay, fighting type. We don't want to keep this rock out. Um. Yeah, Flapple can... Or, wait. Corviknight's a better thing for using a flying move, because... Same type attack bonus. Acrobatics is strong and all, but... Not as strong as the same type attack bonus drill pick. Wait, these guys aren't steel fighting. Why aren't they? I mean, look at them. They got little shields. What's all their armor for if not making them steel types? Another fighting type? Really? I also still think Graplocked should be water fighting. Like, in terms of defenses, it's probably better that it's not water fighting. But I still think it should be water fighting. I mean, look at it. It's an octopus. It's blue. Why would it not be water fighting? Oh, hey, we got some reporters. Uh-huh. I forgot who I had in my second slot. Ah, okay. I can make it work. So, for starters, let's heat crash the cling 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 blah, 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 blah. And then we'll Ice Beam. No, Heliolisk isn't ground type. It's electric normal. Right? We'll Mud Shot the Heliolisk. Get on out of here. Oh, is this the news that they saw me on? Because there were those people who said they saw me on the news. If I had skipped fighting them the first time, would I have gotten that dialogue? Now I'm curious. Ooh, a Noivern. That thing is getting ice beamed. Oh, and Togedemaru is getting high horse powered. This is two quad weaknesses we get to exploit in one round. you and your paralysis. Why can't Colossal be faster? Yeah. Oh. All right, Colossal. 
Fossil needs a little bit more health. And Intellion needs to not be paralyzed. Also, dang it, we're out of paralyzed heals. I mean, sure, we've got at least a couple full heals and plenty of full restores, but... Oh. We're, we're just out of cold town now, huh? Yeah, I don't want to just go using full restores willy-nilly. Because they are expensive. And yeah, we can't walk up the tiny, tiny little hill here. So this is a big old amusement park, is it? Seeing this on the map, I was kind of hoping this would be a post-game Battle Frontier type thing. Clearly it is not. No, no it's not. I get it, it's you who doesn't. <laughs> You're going to lose to me somehow in the semifinals or the finals, whatever. Because, yeah, it's semifinals, then finals, then champion match, right? So I'm guessing we'll be up against Marnie in the semifinals and we'll beat her there because it's not going to let her be higher up than Hop. And then we'll beat Hop in the finals and then we'll fight Leon. That's my guess. But... We don't have time this episode to figure out if that's right. So join us next time to see if maybe I'm right or if maybe it'll take longer than that to figure out. See you then, friends.